Why I exercise at home instead of going to the gym. As a man going your own way, fitness is an important part of keeping you at your best. If you're like me and you want to be in good shape, but not necessarily compete for Mr. Universe or the Olympics, then there's no reason to be paying for a monthly gym membership. Back in my blue pill days, I would hit the gym at least five days a week. If you watched my other video called, Why Bother Working Out, you'll know that, like most young men, my prime motivation for working out then was to impress girls. Not anymore. The more I talk to younger men, the more they tell me that gyms are the new bars. People go there to socialize and find dates or hookups. I might add here that churches are probably number two on that list, and this is coming from a Christian myself, but I digress. If you're MGTOW and you have no need to show off your physique to all the T-H-O-T-S, or you don't want to spend the money each month or are tired of driving there, or if you simply can't go because of the COVID-19 situation, then listen up because I'm going to share my routine with you right now. First, let's talk about the equipment that I have. I have an exercise area with enough space to move around without being restricted. I literally use the corner of my room that has a carpeted floor. It can't be more than 6 by 10 feet. I also have a wooden broomstick which is supported on each end by two stable desks. This is used for rowing exercises that are done while laying flat on my back or in the supine position. Check the description box below for a pic of the setup. Then there's an adjustable set of dumbbells. I'd recommend ones that can range from 5 to 25 pounds at least, depending on your strength. Dumbbells right now are very expensive and they're being price gouged due to the lockdown. So try to get a used one on Craigslist if you can. I found a set for $40 used that was going for $350 new on Amazon. So just look around. The final thing is a pull-up bar. This might not be appropriate for everybody unless you're a little bit more experienced, but a uh, pull-up bar that hooks onto the doorway, not the kind that's a rod that can fall out because those are dangerous. You want to get the curved kind that uh, locks securely onto the doorway and has multiple grip positions. That's it. That's all I have. An exercise area, a broomstick between two desks, a dumbbell set, and a pull-up bar. Now let me tell you what exercises I do. There are only five of them, and it's a complete body workout that hits every major muscle group. For each of these, I do three sets between 8 and 15 repetitions. Number one is a push-up. This is self-explanatory. Everyone knows how to do a push-up. Number two is an inverted row or supine row. This is where you lay on your back. You grab the broomstick that I mentioned, which is between two desks, and you pull your body up, chest to bar. This is the exact opposite motion of a push-up, and that's why I do it. Keeping muscles balanced is critical. The pushing muscles, like your chest, have to be balanced out by your pulling muscles that you have in your back. Otherwise, you'll get bad posture or even an injury. I focus more on pulling than I do pushing. Some trainers will even say that for every one set of pushing that you do, you need to do two sets of pulling. The third exercise is a pull-up. This is a little bit more advanced, and it's okay if you can't do it yet. In that case, just start with the row exercise I mentioned, and then you can work your way up to a pull-up in the future. When you do, don't worry if you can only do one or even none. Pull-ups are hard, but I believe they are the best indicator of upper body strength, and you definitely want to try to include them. Number four is a lateral dumbbell raise. This is where you hold a dumbbell in each hand and you raise your arms to the side until they are parallel with the floor. It works your shoulders or your trapezius and your deltoids. Check the description box for this as well if you're unfamiliar with it. Finally, number five is the dumbbell squat. This one exercise is the golden standard for your lower body. It targets just about every single muscle below the waist. Your butt or your glutes, quads, hamstrings, and even a bit of your calf depending on how you do it. You hold the dumbbells up near your shoulders close to your body. You squat all the way down with your feet slightly wider than shoulders. You arch your back. If you're doing it right, you will feel it in your glutes. You'll feel your butt working hard at the very bottom when you begin pushing back up. And that's it. It's just those five exercises. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes. What's funny about it is that it's almost like a cardio workout too, especially when I do the squats. Your heart rate really goes up because you're using so many large muscle groups. I do this two to three times per week and my body is in pretty good shape. You might have noticed that there are no abdominal exercises. 
This is because, believe it or not, your abs are used to stabilize your body during the other exercises, especially the push-ups, supine rows, and the pull-ups. I don't do sit-ups or crunches at all because they only cause bad posture, at least for me. Plus, flat abs are not achieved by targeting the abdomen directly, but rather by having an overall increase in muscle tissue throughout your body because that will increase your metabolism and thus it will reduce the fat around the belt line. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment below if your home exercise routine is different than mine and maybe we can get a discussion going and help each other out.